The date is April 30th, 1945. Held up in his bunker under his headquarters in Berlin, Germany, Adolf Hitler would commit suicide by swallowing a cyanide capsule and shooting himself in the head. This would finally put an end to the once hopeful 1000 year Reich. Following the unconditional surrender of Nazi Germany, post-war Europe would see the rapid modernization and growth of its economy and democratic institutions over time. Following with it would be the subsequent destruction of infamous Nazi establishments and structures that once laid all over Nazi Germany, showcasing its military might and nationalistic ideals aligned with the Nazi party that would be long forgotten as time went on. One of these long forgotten infamous Nazi structures would be the bunker where Adolf Hitler would take his life and where the Nazi government would end. So the question arises, whatever happened to Hitler's bunker? Hitler's bunker, or most commonly known as the Führer bunker, was constructed in 1936 near the Reich Chancellery in the capital city of Berlin prior to the outbreak of World War II. The original design of the bunker was to serve as an air raid shelter against Allied bombings, but as the Allied air campaign started to significantly increase, it would later be turned into Hitler's permanent residency and headquarters. The bunker itself would be an elaborate complex system of fortified rooms and shelters located 28 feet below the garden of the Old Reich Chancellery. With almost 3 meters of thick concrete surrounding the Führer bunker, it was almost seen as impenetrable. Because of this, it was to be the last stand of Adolf Hitler and the high command of Nazi Germany. But as we all know, this wouldn't be the case. Following the death of Adolf Hitler and majority of his senior staff, the bunker would subsequently be captured by Soviet forces on May 2nd, 1945. The bunker would then be held onto by Soviet forces where a detailed interior site investigation began by Allied forces, although seen as controversial. Over time, the bunker would be left neglected and forgotten as the years passed by. In December of 1947, two years after the capture of the bunker, Soviet forces would attempt to blow up the infamous bunker but partially failed as only the separation walls of the bunker were damaged by the explosions. In the year of 1959, the East German government began a series of demolitions against the Chancellery, including the Fear Bunker, but because it was near the Berlin Wall during the height of the Cold War, the site was underdeveloped and neglected until 1988. During this year, extensive construction would begin to create more residential housing and other buildings on top of the site where the bunker once stood. During construction, work crews uncovered several different underground sections of the old bunker complex where most of the underground sections were either destroyed, filled in with cement, or resealed. The emergency exit point for the bunker, which once stood in the Chancellery Gardens, was cleared out and made into a car parking lot. Finally, on June 8th of 2006, during the lead up to the 2006 FIFA World Cup, which would be held in Germany, government authorities wanting to finally destroy the last remnants of Nazi landmarks would install an information board on top of where Hitler's bunker once stood, still located in the capital city of Berlin. This would be the final action which sealed the fate of Hitler's famous bunker and his once hopeful dreams of a 1000 year Reich. It should also be worth noting that across the street from where bunkers Hitler's bunker once stood as a memorial dedicated to the millions of Jews murdered all across Europe. Although you are not able to visit and go inside the bunker today, you are able to walk all over and on top of one of the most infamous Nazi structures that once stood there. Thanks for watching, and as always, like and subscribe for more.